The Holy Tales. Today's story is about Saul escaping from the Jewish leaders after his encounter with Jesus. That sounds adventurous. Go on with the story, Holy. Let's not waste any more time. Saul's sudden encounter with Jesus on his way to Damascus had changed Saul completely. He stayed with some believers for a few days and immediately began preaching that Jesus was truly God's son. Everyone who heard him were amazed. They knew a few days earlier it was Saul who wanted to persecute the believers, but now he was one of them. The more Saul preached, the more powerful his preaching became. None of the Jews in Damascus were able to find any fault in him, and this made them very unhappy. Some of the Jewish leaders decided to kill him. They were constantly looking out for a chance to ambush him. Saul heard about their plans, and some of his new friends helped him escape. At night, they made Saul climb into a big basket tied ropes to it and lowered him down over the city wall. After he escaped, Saul went to Jerusalem and tried to meet the believers there. But they were all afraid of him because they didn't know how he had changed. They thought he was pretending to be a believer just to trick them. Barnabas came with him to talk to the believers. He told them all about how Saul met the Lord on his way to Damascus and how he preached powerfully afterwards. So the believers accepted Saul and from then he preached in Jerusalem. His preaching was very powerful and this angered the Jewish leaders wherever he went. The young church grew stronger in number and in strength because the believers walked with the Lord and were always filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. So, did you children like the story? Yes, yes, we did. It was wonderful. Well then, now it is time for the question. Who went with Saul to speak to the believers of Jerusalem? Barnabas went with Saul to speak to the believers. Am I right? Yes, you are. The Holy Tales Hello, kids. Today, I'm going to tell you a story about a woman named Dorcas. Jesus' followers were often gifted with special abilities through the power of the Holy Spirit. This happened quite a few times to Peter. Once, Peter was called to a town named Joppa, where a very kind woman named Dorcas lived. She was always helping others and showing kindness to everyone around her. She was extremely helpful towards the poor. For her helpful and kind nature, everyone in Joppa loved her. One day, Dorcas fell very ill. Her friends tried to do everything to make her feel better and comfortable. But nothing worked and Dorcas died. Her friends were heartbroken. They put special oils and perfumes on her body before her burial. They put her body in a room upstairs for her funeral. A few of Dorcas's friends brought news that Peter, Jesus' disciple, was in the neighboring town. So they sent two men to talk to Peter and beg him to come to Joppa as quickly as possible. So Peter went to Joppa with the two men and Dorcas's friends took him to the room where her body was kept. Peter saw that the room was filled with her friends, widows and poor people who were all crying for her. They showed Peter the coats and the other pieces of clothing that Dorcas had sewed for them. 
Peter asked all the people to leave the room. Then he knelt down beside Dorcas's body and prayed. After that, he turned to her and said, Get up! Immediately, Dorcas opened her eyes. When she saw Peter, she sat up. Peter then called back her friends back into the room and showed them that Dorcas was alive. Everyone was amazed. The news of Dorcas being alive spread quickly through the town, and soon many people began to believe in Jesus once again. That was such an exciting story. Thank you for the wonderful story, Holly. You are most welcome. The Holy Tales Today's story is about Paul getting arrested in Jerusalem. Paul bid goodbye to the believers in Ephesus and headed for Jerusalem. Some of Paul's friends begged him not to go there because Paul had received death threats from the Jewish leaders who were very angry with him. But Paul was ready to give his life for Jesus' sake. His friends were unable to convince him otherwise, so some of his friends went along with him. In Jerusalem, Paul met the leaders of the church and told them all about his experiences preaching in other cities and the number of people who were following Jesus now. The leaders praised God for all the work he had done, but then they said, We know that a lot of Jews now believe in Jesus because of your preaching. However, we take the law of Moses very seriously. The Christians of Jerusalem tell us that your preaching is trying to make people turn their backs to Moses' laws. So what should we do now? We have an idea. We have some men who are going to the temple to get their heads shaved and be part of the purification ceremony. Pay for them to have their heads shaved. Then everyone will know that the rumors are false and that you encourage people to obey the laws of Moses. Paul agreed to their plan and he went through the purification process the next day. But there were some Jews from Asia who saw him in the temple and immediately started a riot against him. They grabbed him and yelled at him saying, this is the man who teaches people to go against Moses' laws. He even speaks against the temple. Gradually, the entire city joined in the riot against Paul. The people dragged him out of the temple, trying to kill him. But the Roman commander arrested Paul and put him in chains when he heard the news of the riot. He asked the people about Paul and what he had done. People were shouting out different things about him, and the commander was confused. He had no clear idea as to what Paul might have done. The crowd pointed to Paul and continued shouting, Kill him! Kill him! Paul asked the commander if he would get permission to speak to the crowd. The commander let him. The crowd went quiet when they saw Paul come forward to speak. Paul said, I am a Jew and have learned the Jewish laws and customs. I have obeyed them and I am eager to honor God just as you are. There was a time when I persecuted the believers of Jesus. I even went to Damascus to stop them from preaching against Jesus. But Jesus himself spoke to me on that journey. I now know that he is the real Son of God. I was chosen by God to spread his message to the entire world. One day, I had a vision of God in the temple. He told me to leave Jerusalem because the people here would not believe my message. I argued with him, but he still told me to leave Jerusalem. He asked me to go far away and preach to the Gentiles. When the crowd heard Paul say the word Gentile, they went crazy and began shouting, Kill him! Kill him! 
The commander brought Paul inside and ordered that he be beaten. As the soldiers were beginning to beat him, Paul asked if it was legal to treat a Roman citizen in this way. You are a Roman citizen? The commander asked. Yes, I am. I am a citizen by birth. Paul said. So they untied him and did not beat him. That was a really enjoyable story, Holy. Yes, it was. So what's the question for today? Today's question is, where did Jesus appear to Paul on his journey? I know. When Paul was on his way to Damascus to persecute the believers. Wonderful, Freckles. Well done. Keep watching. We'll be back soon. Bye-bye. To watch more videos, please subscribe. Hidden plants and trees. On the fourth day, God created the sun to shine in the day, the moon and stars to come out at night. One day, Moses went to Mount Horeb with his sheep. There, God appeared to him as a flame of fire in a bush. Since there was no room anywhere else, they decided to spend the night in a stable. Here, Mary had her baby, Jesus. She wrapped him in a blanket and put him to sleep. He's got the home.